Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What was the DJ? Glad to be back. Uh, shuffling a few videos up in here. Check this out, y'all. Whatever side of the dive on, let me welcome you and let me say good morning. Okay? But check this out. July 4th for white people. Squad member Cori Bush saying she won't celebrate Independence Day because this land is stolen and black people still aren't free. And um, nobody can argue with that. That's why I don't understand how y'all foolish. Especially in my neighborhood. Why are y'all all these damn fireworks? I mean, the kind that should be down on the lakefront. And when you burn your damn house down or somebody else's house down, you don't got a, a, a pot to piss in it and the window to throw it out of. But yet you sitting up there lighting these things up not even giving a damn where these things land. Uh, I mean, come on. And then you out there celebrating. What you celebrating? What you celebrating? That the police didn't shoot you down today? Anyway, Missouri Congresswoman caught for her tweet despairing the holiday. Criticized her as spreading divisive rhetoric. Bush is no stranger to controversy for her far left stance and they call what she's saying far left the truth is far left you know you know so you got to be in the middle look at this damn hypocrisy y'all look and use your damn critical thinking put on your what that uh, girl said your ting tingly tingly hat i mean come on how stupid can we be this is gaslighting when somebody tells you you far left thinking when you tell the truth okay and that is the truth the right far right ain't no truth if you're not on board with saying y'all stole land you stole people you whipped them you sold them into slavery you stole their baby pillage murder and if you're not willing to start from there and be able to talk about that unhypocritically there ain't no far right. what's the the, the the that's the truth the far truth is what it should be. Anyway, Bush is no stranger to controversy. She, she, in May, she referred to mothers as birthing people in a speech before Congress. In June, she called for reparations after Juneteenth was named a federal holiday. Um, she was put in, though, y'all. Missouri Congresswoman Cory Bush sparked controversy on Sunday with a tweet in which she said Independence Day was a holiday. When they say that the 4th of July is about this, the freedom they're referring to is the freedom for white people, she wrote. This land is stolen land, and black people are free. Y'all got to remember that. And why that's not critical race theory, what's wrong with y'all is y'all can't tell the truth. And because you have the inability to tell the truth, Satan is going to whip your mind. Satan is going to whip this country. It is already in leadership in the country. It's spiritual wickedness in high places. It's going to whip this country. And it's like all the great empires. And this one was the best. The fastest growing empire ever. It's, it can't survive with this with the, all these lies. Bush, who was first elected to the House of Representatives in November, has been widely viewed as the newest member of the so-called squad of Congresswomen known for being outspoken on the left-wing views. She is no stranger to controversy. That's left-wing. Yeah. I mean, really? That's tough, tough. Is left wing marinate on that for a minute it may she was mocked for referring to mother y'all that backlash to her latest comment was swift <coughs> and go said the united states be dissolved in your opinion and people deported to their ethnic country of origin rather 
recent or historical. Listen to this. See, this ain't get offended. Um, Buzz Patterson, a Republican running for Congress in California, replied single-handedly at Cory Bush uh, has dishonored every black person who ever fought for this nation, sprinkled a little Marxism into the mix, and lied about the history of America. Well done, Democrats. Well done. Journalist Kyle Becker posted, there are plenty of black Americans who have taken advantage of freedom to succeed. Barack Obama, Kamala Harris, Tom, uh, Clarence Thomas, to name a few. Um, how is there systemic racism when we had a black president, a vice president, a, a secretary of state justice uh, because of hard work and opportunity? Stop lying. Uh, journalist Kyle Becker, uh, I want to challenge you to a duel because your comments are so ignorant that single handedly I'll flush you down the toilet because what you just said was so ridiculous. It's insane because most of you people who say ridiculous stuff like this have no idea um, about the intricacies and the, the workings of America. And if you do, you're so hypocritical, you don't you won't admit it to anybody. You'll keep it to yourself. Get to the point. America is not a racist country. When you see every advance that we have gotten as black and brown, as black people, y'all have tried. Y'all now have just tried. You figured out a way to dismantle it, to absolve it, or transfer it over to white women and other white entities. And when you don't admit to that, then I know you're a liar, which you are. There's no, so your comment is crap. Paul Becker. All of y'all, these people are crazy. They make she said that. If white supremacy was really running the show, you wouldn't be allowed this, much less as a congresswoman. The former administration department of commerce, uh, Kyle Hoover. Black people aren't free. District hasn't had a white representative in 50 years. You, a black woman, went nurse to being elected to one of the highest offices in the country. How much more freedom are you looking for? Um, you're one of the most powerful women on the planet. The blood of so many of every color was spilled to provide you the opportunity. How sad not to recognize their sacrifice and instead promote racial division, wrote Douglas Carr. Okay. Mr. Carr. Mr. Carr. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why don't you sit down and have a real... Uh, open discussion with what the notion of equality means. Let's just take freedom out of the conversation. And until you can say that black people are equal and to white people and you feel comfortable with that, and you feel comfortable, not your stomach start turning into knots in the, the thought of saying, oh, you were nervous. And that means there's a problem. The fact that you can't even allow your heart, mind, and spirit to even go that we should be equal to you. See? And I, in America, with the law, the same laws that apply to black people should apply to white people. Same laws that apply apply to white people should apply to black people. And if you think that is what's happening now, there aren't white young men being shot down in the street like dogs and children and women. So if you're not going to address all of it and stop being a hypocrite, hypocrite don't get mad because there's some of us who say, I don't celebrate the 4th of July because I, of all the things that happened right, you know, improvement, nothing, power concedes nothing without a dinner. That's what Brother Frederick Douglass said. Not to, don't talk about how far we come. We're going to go there. Until this thing come fall apart. Because 
we, everything that we've got, every stride we've made is because we demanded it. You ain't give us a damn thing. Because power don't concede nothing without a demand. And guess what? When you demand it, you got to be ready to take it. That's the only time. That's the only time an oppressor is going to look. So at some point, y'all got to realize, like Dr. King said, either we go on to learn to live as brothers. Some brothers don't like each other. But if you do as fools, we're going to perish as fools. That means when you look at all the other great empires like France and you look at the ones that were um, great at one time, Ethiopia or Egypt or whatever, whatever uh, civilization, Rome, and the failure, Great Britain. The sun was never set on the British Empire. Unless we get this this shit right here together and quit gaslighting everybody and deal with this uh, craziness. I do believe that there is a... Uh, uh, the, the, you know, the, the war is already here. It's not brewing. It's not coming. It's already here. It's already here. I mean, it's insane. Listen, I don't know. What do y'all think? What y'all think about, you know, the kind that Corey made? What do y'all think about black people celebrating the 4th of July? Should they or should they not? And should you be outraged talking about they shouldn't celebrate the 4th of July? I mean, honestly, I want to hear. I want to hear your honest, objective response. Okay? All right, go to the next video. If you like what you hear, y'all know, please subscribe. And please. All right, we'll see y'all in the next one.